importing. Importing. Importing is the same as recording, Mason. Hey everybody, this is Ryan. You're watching Sailing Freestyle. And in today's episode, we're going to be putting the floors in the biz out. And we're going to be doing some more little bits of woodworkingness with some trim action. Trim action. Floors. Buckle up. Let's go, Tad. All right, we got a couple things going on here. Um, this right here that's being glued together, I had noticed um, on some after some internet googling, I saw a modification on the McGregor where they kind of put some trim by the um, on the, uh, the the bench seats there to kind of keep the cushions in place. Yeah. Oh! Um, so that's kind of what I'm making here. I just added a little bit of a decorative trim so I'm gluing that on and then after that we'll cut it down. Man why you guys gotta video bomb my YouTube channel? Uh, so we're gonna do that and then I got some other measurements here that I just took and a few other things that I need to polish off so let's go ahead and get these dried out. <laughs> I'm gonna try to give these um, pieces of trim here that I have to hold in the seat cushion a little bit of shape. So I got the table saw set up on this angle here. Um, I'm gonna be looking to just kind of uh, cut a little bit off so it's just not a big square, and then we can sand it and round it out and stuff. Um, just a thought to make it a little bit more interesting, so let's see how it works and hopefully it'll ruin a nice perfectly good piece of wood. Alright, so at first I was uh... I don't know what the word is. 
not really bummed out, but I can tell that it was not making an even cut. Um, but after I, I took it off and kind of looked at it, I kind of really like the way it looks, all uneven and stuff. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I mean, the cut's different at all different parts here, and it kind of looks like, um, I don't know, it looks rustic and kind of like chiseled or something like that. And I'm really kind of digging it. Um, so, I'm not even sure if I want to sand it. I like the jagged edges. Because, like, like I said, I kind of like that, that chiseled and rustic -y look. So I'm not even going to bother sanding this down. I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is and we'll do it to the other one. Um, so we can have two pieces to work with. And then maybe we'll put a little stain action on there and I'll keep going with the whole two-tone theme I have going on here with stained and unstained. And I'll have um, this little piece of trim unstained and then the main part of it stained. Um, which is going to be a freaking chore. Maybe I'll just end up sanding the whole thing. I probably will. I'll try to do the two-tone. And if it's not working because I, I am getting stain everywhere and I can't really mask it. I hate masking things. Um, then we'll just stain the whole thing. All right, I've got one last finishing touch here, I think, before we call the woodwork done. Um, and again, this is not the end all of end all woodwork, but the bulk of it is done. We might do some other things here and there, but the main bulk, I think, is probably good to call complete. But the finishing touch I want to put on here is I made some frames um, from the original. Uh, 1989 McGregor 26D sales uh, brochure. Uh, I think it makes some nice artwork, so I'm going to stick them up here and in the galley. Here's the other one. And then we'll call it Dunzo.
Man, we got a nice February day today here in Western Massachusetts. I think it is in the uh, 50s, high, maybe 60s. Um, feels like spring here. I'm really tempted to get this tarp off this boat, but um, can't really jump the gun too quick here in uh, Massachusetts because who knows, a week from now we could be getting a blizzard. Um, but it's definitely t-shirt weather. We don't have to throw the heater on in there today, which is a good thing. And what we're going to do today actually, and it will help with the warmer temperatures, is put down some uh, flooring and the, the, the warmer temps today will actually help with the uh, cure time of the adhesive we're going to use for the floor. Um, so yeah, good project to do today when it's nice out. Um, yeah, any excuse to get out on the boat and get some work done is a good time for me. So let's go to that. All right, what I'm going to use for the floor in here today is some stuff we just got at Home Depot. Uh, it's some uh, vinyl flooring. Uh, went with vinyl probably for some obvious reasons um, because the high probability of the floor being wet at times in there. Um, so I didn't want to do the carpet to help prevent mildew. Plus, I don't know, carpet. I'm not a big carpet guy in a boat. Um, and also didn't want to really do anything with wood um, to prevent, you know, mold and rot and that kind of stuff. So I went with the vinyl. Um, easy maintenance, wipe up, cleaning. Um, no rot, no mold, none of that kind of crap. Um, and oh, what we're going to do to put it down is I got this stuff here. It's a Loctite Premium Construction Adhesive. Um, a lot of the, the flooring adhesives expect you to be gluing to a, um, a, a wood subfloor. And obviously we're not gluing to a wood subfloor, we're gluing to fiberglass. And um, this says recommended uses for indoor and exterior construction, subfloor, blah, 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 blah. And here's to wood, OSB, a bunch of stuff we don't have. Then it says PVC and vinyl. So, um, yeah, should do us good. So, we got some glue, we got some floor, we got the old glue gun. I got a uh, straight edge to make some cuts. I got some rags to clean up any glue gone or astray. Uh, astray? Is that a word? I got a um, blade to make some cuts. And use the uh, shop vac to uh, clean up any dirt off the floor. And that should be all we need to get some new flooring done. So, I don't know. It seems easy enough in my head. Let's see if it's easy enough in actuality.
All right, the floor is installed now, but uh, it just didn't look quite finished enough for me. So what I did is I went ahead and I cut a bunch of um, pieces of trim here, stained them up and uh, lacquered them up or polyurethane them up, whatever the frig you want to call it. Um, so we're going to get those in here. We're going to glue those down and hopefully at that point, um, it should look pretty good. So uh, let's get going on that stuff. everybody that is gonna do it for this episode what do you think of these floors man i think they came out great i think it looks amazing um this boat's really coming along so far um and spring is almost here it's officially it is here spring is here it's still freaking cold though but it is technically spring next week we're gonna have some warmer temperatures and i think before we know it we're gonna be doing some sailing but for now yeah we're really getting a lot done Floors, I think, came out great. All this wood trim came out great. Um, and, yeah, all this stuff came out great. Electrical's done. Man, can't believe it. I don't know. What do I got to say? Um, tell me what you guys think. Leave your comments below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share with everybody. You know, click the share button. Because YouTube likes it when you share. Because, I don't know. They just do. Um, what else? Um, um, uh, um, uh, man, I feel like I'm, I'm really messing this end of the video ramble up. Uh, I don't know, we're just wrapping it up, right? What is there to say? Uh, we did some floors, we did some trim, um, we're wrapping it up. I told you to like and subscribe and share and all that stuff. Go to the Patreon page, become a patron, buy a t-shirt, because all that stuff is what keeps these videos coming. You know what I mean? You want more videos? I need some love, guys. I need some love. The best love is these. Give me some of these. Give me some thumbs up. Um, what's coming up in the next episode? Next episode, we're going to... Well, um, I'll, I'll give a spoiler alert. I found a sewing machine at Walmart for 45 bucks, And I started doing some sewing projects. Um, like redoing... I'm trying to keep it out of focus. Oh, oh God. See? I'm ruining the surprise already. Anyways, stay tuned for that. The video is already it's captured. I got it captured. I just got to put it all together, which I know it takes time, guys. I'm sorry. I try to keep the videos coming. I do the best I can. So bear with me. Got a full-time job. I got a wife, the kids, and all that stuff. And I got you guys on top of it. I'm trying to make you all happy, all right? So, um, yeah. Next episode, we're going to be playing with a sewing machine and getting some sewing projects done. And then the episode after that, we're going to be working on the galley. And yeah, so lots of good stuff to come before we actually officially start the sailing season. And we're just going to be all fitted up and ready to go. You know what I mean? Like this boat is going to be ready for like awesomeness. Oh, I can't spoil any of the... Oh, God! I'm ruining the surprises! All right. Before I leak too much from the next episode, all right? Making it official. This episode's over.